Today, Brits spend more of their hard-earned cash online and less of it on the high street. Well, the shift away from traditional shopping habits means that town centres across the country are facing an ever-decreasing footfall. And we've all seen on the high streets the closed shops and the signs of this. Well, despite the challenges, market towns like Northampton and the East Midlands now have a rare chance to transform themselves for the future. Mm. East Midlands reporter Will Hollis says more on this. Uh, good morning, Will. So what are they going to do? Good morning. It's certainly getting a lot colder now. I've got my gloves out and I've got my big winter coat on. Um, but for some of the people that work here on Northampton Market, they're not fussed about the weather. They can work at any time of the year, no, no matter whether it's rain, sun or shine. One thing that they won't tolerate, though, is people messing around with their market. Now, towns like Northampton are in a really tricky position. Like so many places, there's fewer and fewer people that are venturing out uh, to the high street. More people are spending more of their cash online. And that means less people are, are coming onto the market and buying the traditional goods that they might sell here. So the council is in a position where it's now got a little bit of money from the government to try and change this market. But there's a bit of division about what that market like, might look like in the future. And so I've been speaking to the council, as well as some of the people that have spent decades working on this market, to try and figure out what that future might mean for Northampton. Oh, what a beautiful morning. Oh, what a beautiful day. I've got a beautiful feeling. I'm going to sell out today. Fitzy's been working on Northampton Market all of his life. He left school at 13 and has been here ever since. This is what we do every morning, right? I tell the lads to do it. I tell them to do this over your till and you always have a good day then. Now age 72, he's watched the market deteriorate over the decades. Like all town centres in, in the country, they're all declining, you know, the supermarkets, the online and the pound shops, you know, I mean, they've all hit people, independent people like me. He isn't the only one to remember better days. It was absolutely buzzing. It was every store was taken, people were about, it was the same stores regularly. It was just a hive of activity. It was just the centre of Northampton. Northampton has the same sickness as so many towns and cities in Britain. Fewer feet on the high street, more fingers and thumbs buying online. Even the big shops are failing. But the government's brewing an antidote. It's giving councils in England cash for regeneration projects. I feel that there are some lovely stalls here, but as you can see, there are a lot of empty stalls. So I feel we're not maximising on what we could do. Northampton's already won eight and a half million pounds from the Towns Fund to transform the market square. And it has millions more for other projects. What we want to do is change the, the style of the market square so that it entices more people to it. So what we want to do is widen the audience. We still want to keep the market stalls, but we want to create areas where, you know, there are activities that are going on, there's events going on. We want to encourage families to be able to visit here. And we want to create a feeling of safety um, and, and unity in, in, in the types of people that come here. And then have that cuffy culture around the outside. But that means short-term pain for long-term gain. It's likely traders here must move out until 2024 when the new market will be ready. Many say that will hurt business and that the council's leaving them in the dark. We don't really know what the plans are for the market. We, you know, we're getting our regular customers coming around saying, what's going on, where are you moving to? We don't, we don't know. The council aren't telling us anything. We've heard rumours that, yes, it may be in Sainsbury's, it may be in M&S, there was talks about Debenhams up at Sixfields. You can't stick us in places like that. We won't make a living in two years. We'll, we'll be gone. We would be naive to think that we're going to be able to achieve this without any sort of disruption whatsoever. Um, it's really important from our point of view and with the representation of the businesses that we have, um, that we look after and we nurture the businesses that we've got through this period of time to make sure that everybody is, that is here now is a part of Northampton's future in the future. What the council has is a responsibility, not only to the people that already work on and shop at the market, but also the people that choose not to. And finding that balance between the two is a difficult process. I feel like it could do with having a bit more stuff in it for young people, because I don't really feel like there's much. We need cafes, restaurants, things. I know there are some there, but I think they need to encourage more people in, and yes, young people. A stronger arts element, um, uh, more 
um, more creative businesses who are willing to do interesting things with the space. Fitzy may be part of the old breed, but he isn't too stubborn to change if it means saving this market. We want to carry on in business, you know. We don't want going out of business. I'm too late to get another job. Where am I? Who's going to give me a job? Will Hollis reporting from Northampton in the East Midlands. Now, the town's fund is uh, a, a big pot of money. It's about £3.6 billion. Um, £8 million is going for this particular project. But there's 100 towns across England that are going to be benefit for, benefiting from that. It's part of a promise that the Conservative government made after the last election to level up, uh, to help these places that are really suffering from the online digital revolution. Um, and it could mean some really big things. But uh, in places like Northampton, at least, some people are certainly sceptical uh, about what the future might mean, especially people that have been doing jobs like the market trading jobs uh, for decades. Um, but there's a lot of conversation to come, uh, public, com uh, pub public consultations um, in the future before the, any of the big decisions are made and any of that £8 million pot is spent here in Northampton.